Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lux channel. My name is Kristen, for those of you just chiming in. I'm a factory representative for Lux Fifth Wheels. I am outstanding outside of our 48 FB and it does have a side patio. This is a toy hauler. We are taking this to our Tampa show in January, just so that you know, so if you are coming out, this is a sneak peek at one that we're bringing along with us. This one right here has the Tsunami paint mask, which is an upgrade on any of our coaches. It has three coats of clear. It's a double um, wet sand cotton buff. You can pick any automotive colors. Even our logos are painted, so nothing is gonna be a decal on our coach. You're gonna have two 40 pound propane tanks, one on each side. And then you have a very spacious pass-through storage here. You can also get the more ride tray slide that's gonna go in and out of here if you'd like. We do have two service doors inside the pass-through storage to get to that underbelly. Everything about our coach is gonna be built for serviceability. All of our coaches are also built for full-time use, all four seasons. They come solar prepped and satellite prepped, or we can install those for you. We have a really large friction hinge door. Makes it really nice on those windier days, so it's just gonna stay put wherever you place it. Solid step above, um, stairs are an option that you can do. It comes with that extra step and a half at the top and it goes all the way to the ground, which makes it easier and it gives you a little bit more balance as well. All metal fender skirting, no plastic. All of your screws are gonna be hidden by the belt rail here so nothing is exposed to the elements. You have a triple bulb seal on your slides. So you have a very nice seal when those slides are in or out. You can see here that they did not choose to do the slide room paint. And what that means is that the accents do not flow through the end of the sidewalls. However, it is still painted one of your main accent colors. All of the walls are gonna be three inches thick. It's gonna be two and a half inches of closed graphite infused black foam insulation, mold mildew resistant. It's got a fire resistant as well in it. It's a vacuum bond laminated wall. So essentially goes through a big trash bag, sucks all that air out and there's glue between all of those layers. Your sidewall here is gonna be two inches thick. All independent suspension, 17 and a half inch H-rated Cooper tires. They also have Kodiak hydraulic disc brakes. We also have air ride suspension too that you can add. Our side patio is something that everybody loves. It does go up to 1500 pounds in the, uh, ramp, in the patio position here. Um, you do have a 43 inch outdoor TV. Very nice e area here for any type of entertaining that you may do. Very easy to lift the, the ramp door up and down. I can easily do it with one hand. Setting up the railing system only takes a couple minutes as well. So very user friendly. You can see here that we also have the rear patio railing package. So again, 1500 pounds when it's in that patio position and then 5000 pounds when it's in that ramp position when you're putting those toys up in there. You can see here at the bottom, all the larger toy haulers are gonna have the rear skid rollers. There's also a spare tire carrier at the rear and then also an LP quick disconnect. So if you have a fire, a fire pit or a gas grill you wanna hook up, you can do so. Coming around here, you can see that they have a rear awning and they also added the four camera system, which means there's a camera on the rear, one on each side in the front and one above the door for security purposes. You got your ladder on the side here. It's a full walk on roof. It has a TPO membrane for the roof. It is a lifetime warranty on that as well. Cross ventilation, you'll have one on each side. So if you do have those toys inside your garage, you can make sure that those fumes are coming out and not staying inside of your coach. Two fuel tanks here, a 40 gallon and a 20 gallon fuel tank. One's gonna be going to the gen and one is for your toys. Or you do have the fuel pump here where you can pump into the other one, should you need to do so. They did the power cord reel, which is a 30 foot power cord. You do not have to do this option if you do not want to. Two furnaces are gonna be on board. Two 20,000s are standard. If you do the Arctic package, it's two 30,000 BTU furnaces, and then it's gonna upgrade your, um, it's gonna add an additional heat pad to your fresh tank and insulate your PEX lines as well. Dual frame, dual pane frameless windows are standard. Also on the toy hauler that standard is gonna be the Truma on-demand tankless hot water heater. So that's gonna be the top of the line. It's the Comfort Plus. Also wanna show you here a nice little option feature that they put on is the sewer hose holders here. And so they actually put those right here on this slide wall. And then you have, it's right next to your dump station. Here you have the wet bay. You got all of your external solar and satellite um, plugs that you can do. You got your outdoor shower and all of your low point drains. 
you got a 75 amp converter and a 2000 watt inverter on board. Equalizer leveling system, it's all Bluetooth capable. Just press of the button and you can have all auto leveling. We use equalizer leveling system, so it's gonna be much beefier than a lot of those other ones out there. It's also held at an angle so that when you're inside that coach, you're not moving, see, feeling each other moving side by side inside of there. All the toy haulers that are larger, like the 48FB, is gonna come standard with this Gen Y hitch pin. It's gonna have a gross vehicle weight of 25,999. Cuts out a lot of that jerking back and forth motion, saves on fuel costs, um, just gives you an overall smoother ride. You can see in here that they went ahead and installed the, the Onan generator. It's a six, uh, I'm sorry, it's a 7,000 generator uh, gas, or you can get an 8K diesel. I'm gonna take you inside now and show the interior of the 48FB. Now that we're inside the 48FB, we are in the master bedroom here. King size beds are standard. Um, you can see that they added soft touch walls in here, which you can do that in the toy haulers. The standard is gonna be the wallboard, which I'll show you when we get into the garage portion. They also added the vanity slide. When you do that, it gives you a lot more walk around space here. It gives you that 43 inch TV then mounted on your wall. It also gives you this walk-in style closet then as well. So you then have your dressers on either side. So a lot of people ask, well, where am I gonna put my washer and dryer then? So should you want to keep this side by side here, you can put your washer and dryer in the garage, or you can forego the dressers and do a washer and dryer on opposing sides. Again, all king size bed standard. They do come up and do have storage underneath as well. You can see here that they have the nightstands. They went ahead and optioned to do the solid service to match their countertops in the kitchen. They also did that on the vanity slide too but they also went ahead and put the two wireless charging ports in there, so that makes it really nice. Coming out here, I'll take you to the master bathroom here. Inside of here, go ahead and take a look here. You have the residential paneled shower with the wood teak seat. Um, you could do the standard one piece fiberglass should you choose to do so. And then coming out here, into our kitchen and living room, you can see that they mix the woods. They got the beach front at the top and the gray at the bottom. So it's definitely something that you can do to personalize the coach to fit your needs. Um, you can also pick all of your backsplash. You'll do all the design process should you choose to build your own. L-shaped sofa is what comes standard in here, but should you not want to do that, you can do a love seat or just recliners if you would like. This does also come out a little bit more. You just pull the button here and it pulls out. Then you'll have a seat come up here and then that cushion would come here. This also folds down like a little lazy lounger as well. Booth seating is standard for in the kitchen, but you can do something else should you want to. I've had people do cedar seating here as well. Should you not eat in the kitchen? Um, you have a LG refrigerator here with ice and water in the door. It's all residential. Double bowl stainless steel sink is standard, or you can upgrade to a composite sink or you can do a single bowl sink. All residential appliances throughout. As you can see here, we have a 24 inch residential oven. If you don't like this, the induction cooktop standard, or we do have a 30 inch oven as well. Microwaves are convection and they are vented to the outside. All of our doors, drawers, cabinets, and all of that are gonna be solid hardwood. They're maple hardwood, no OSB or particle board anywhere in our coaches. Just show you this here real quick. You can see all of its dovetail hinges are on the bottom. Even the bottom of our drawers is gonna be very substantial. So you got no stapling or OSB. Coming into the garage here, you can see that there is a loft overlook. Though should you not want your loft overlook, you can block, close that off there and do full cabinets. This 48FB does have a 16 four foot garage and that is from here all the way to the back. So what you put in here is gonna take from that space of your footprint. When you do the side patio, it does take about 10 inches from your interior width, which is 95 and three quarters, but it's a very nice um, place to entertain should you want to. This one right here does have a turned half bath so they can maximize the length here. You can see that they do have the three E-tracks down on the diamond flooring. Um, normally they will install that when you come for pickup just to make sure we know exactly where you want it. The washer and dryer hookups, they want it out here because they wanted to keep that dresser in there. So with the half bath, you got, it's pretty decent size. And then as you can see what I was talking about earlier, inside the living space, there was soft touch walls. Out here is the wall board, which a lot of people will do the soft touch in there because it does dampen the sound, it's climate controlled, adds a little bit more insulation. But they keep the wall board in here, especially if you're gonna have those toys and those gas fumes, just, just to help for you know, safety and you know, it doesn't um, penetrate into that vinyl of that soft touch. 
You also have blackout shades in the toy hauler, so it's going to make sure that nobody can see what's inside of your coach. You have a nice toolbox right here at the end. It's going to go that full length there. And then you can see they have the veranda doors on this one. So if you choose to do the veranda doors in the rear patio, it's going to take up about 10 inches of your length as well. So keep that in mind. The veranda doors, they just easily pull down this and then open it up. And then you would bring your toy in when it's in the ramp position. You can do many things with this space. I've seen people put instead of the rear ramp door, they just do a regular wall so that you can have a true second bedroom back here, a master suite, craft room, anything like that. Just let us know what you want. This is a very big flex space. Tell us what you're gonna put in it and we can design it for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at the factory.